Welcome back everyone. In this video we take a little detour from our normal tech tomfoolery and make up some kilometers here in Peru. We're visiting one of the tallest mountains in South America. Hopefully get a camp up near the top among the glaciers and the clouds. Just making our way up to Mount Huascaran. The road has been really good. Hola! <laughs> and lots of friendly people as you can see. A few animals on the road. The road has been excellent. And then we get to here. Let me show you. This is fine, right? This, this is fine. Grande, verdad? Here we are at the start of the switchbacks. They start in this beautiful field of cows and then the keen eye could see that there are a series of switchbacks all the way up this mountain. And we're going to go to the very top and then we're gonna go through the mountain to the other side through a one kilometer tunnel. <laughs> Giving us the thumbs up and the waves. Good measure. <laughs> Let's just stick that there. Okay, so we are about halfway up. Found this little pole over here. But look at this view. Look at that. That's where we started, way down there. Still have a long ways to go, but man, is this gorgeous. I want to get you a good view of those switchbacks, but that might be a drone shot. Jason's smart here. He has a jacket on. I'm freezing. It's cold up here. How high do you think we are now? 38. 38 40. meters. Yeah. I can just check the meteometer. Let's see. Check the meteometer. 46. 46. 56.57 meters. It's about 15,400. Okay, and we are not at the top yet. Just when you think, I'm so cool, I'm on a big adventure, I have a big truck, then this guy shows up. Here we are through the tunnel with beautiful mountain view and our plan is to find a spot for the night and we see this little road up here we're gonna go scout it and see what we can see. Nos vamos. This is probably the only tricky spot but Let's check it in how many feet. Eight Jason feet. Oh, 
Oh yeah. So we just need to climb a little bit up here. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect spot for one rig. So that's the plan. Front passenger tire there, rear passenger tire here. So we're pretty level and easy peasy, right? If you see this video, we lift. Okay. Okay, so the plan is we have a WhatsApp conversation going between us and we each have an, an earbud. Well, I got two. He has one. And we're going to hopefully use that to communicate. First time we tried it. Nothing like trying on the, the day of the situation. a little scarier now we're here yeah looks good you're gonna clear no problem all good hold on let me just check yeah move over this way a little bit a little more a little more okay very good come over you can come over to the cliff a little bit you got room perfect okay yeah you got lots of room you can come, you can even come a little closer to the cliff if you want. Lots of room. Lots of room. Easy peasy. Yeah. Now you don't get much more beautiful than that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want your I want your genuine reaction. <laughs> Could you fabricate a more AI generated idyllic overland spot? Yeah, no, this doesn't even look like this could possibly be be real. This is this is pretty good. Pretty good. A little rubbing on this tire. Yeah, Jason was saying we got a little bit of rubbing on our brand new tires, but I guess that's what we got them for. So close to level, it's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> we actually got it level. Got her all chalked and blocked up there, so we won't be rolling down this hill. We can sleep sound next to this absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> I mean, picture perfect lake. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that'll do for the night. That'll do. a sandwich but he's doing a live stream for members <laughs> everything tastes better when you're sitting in front of a glacier So if you're wondering why we're just stopping here and we're not continuing up the road behind, this is all blocked by a landslide right now. Pretty major one. So this is as far as we can go, but that is perfectly fine by me. And I don't think I'm gonna walk any further because 4,700 meters, this is high, this is high. 
So for supper tonight, we've got a plate of nachos and <laughs> this is Jason's homemade hot sauce. It's not coming out. That's not coming out. We got some essence off the top, which is probably going to That's be pretty hot. Probably enough essence. And yes, that is a maple syrup bottle. Canadian. Mm hmm So show us how it's done. Yeah, I'm try and mix this. Toasty. Mm -hmm. So, fun fact on our dashboard here. Currently, outside temperature and fridge temperature are basically the same. Well, I think we're going to want the uh, diesel heater tonight. Oh, didn't start. Beautiful, but it's cold. Let's see if this heater goes. Come on, buddy. It's still not quite going. High elevation. No flame detect. We'll have to stay warm by the computer fans. <laughs> it's alive. We're gonna survive the night. Good morning, everyone. It was a cold one last night. <laughs> Almost zero degrees. But the morning view here is not disappointing. So, gonna have some coffee, head back down the mountain. Well, this is goodbye to our beautiful spot. Now for the big question, will she start? <laughs> Not bad for a cold morning with this elevation. So the plan is Jason's gonna drive down and I'm going to take an epic time lapse of him going down these switchbacks. Stay tuned for results. He's back. I really didn't even think this view could get any better, but as we're driving out today, it is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big mountain. So we did a few drone shots and it's just not really doing it justice. So in an attempt to get you some nice shots of this area, we're gonna bring out my scooter and I'm going to scoot and Jason's going to drive. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this. Stay in front. Okay. Try to pull over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I can do this. I'm a good scooter. I'm a good scooter. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. Okay, hopefully I'm getting some great shots of Jason. Hello, fellow cyclist. <laughs> Hola. 
<laughs> oh, this is great. That's the most fun I've had all year, all year for sure. I mean, hola! <laughs> Hopefully we got some good, good shots. And there you have it. That was our little Peruvian adventure in the Huascaran National Park, camped out at super high elevation. Now with 45% less oxygen. We've actually spent the last few weeks in the park and have gone on several other hikes and I've thoroughly enjoyed the oxygen deprivation in the high Andes. And since none of you want to listen to me grasping for breath while hauling my wide self up at 1200 meters of elevation gain, we'll leave you with this little video montage of some of the highlights of the last weeks, courtesy of our supporting channel members. It's the support of these legends that allow us to make videos for you guys here on YouTube. And a special thank you to our top tier channel members, Furious George, Cecil Neville, east of somewhere, Sim, Trotter Le Globe. John S., Austin Space, Aaron Isaac, Frank Brantz, and Gary Rudon. Thank you guys so much for your support. The rest of you, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.